Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Today's video is a comparison video. Going to be comparing three guitars. Guitar number one is this vintage V100 from 2006. Guitar number two is a 1981 Greco EGF 850. Guitar number three, the final guitar, is a 2019 Gibson 50s standard. So this is part of a longer series where I'm going to be comparing these three guitars in different sort of videos because these guitars are three different price points. Now I'm going to go on the used price in June 2023 mainly because you can't buy a Greco EGF 850 new these days. I think they're only made in 1980 and 81. So used price today, I had a quick look. The vintage you can pick up between 200 250 pounds the greco egf 850 800 to 1200 depending on on what condition it's in and the gibson standard 1600 to maybe 1800 again depending on the condition so three three very different price points now the three guitars are all stock they'll have the stock pickups vintage one has a higher output bridge pickup but it's their stock pickups the greco has the pu2 pickups and the Gibson has burst bucker pickers. Can't remember the exact specs, maybe a burst bucker one and two. So they're all stock. And I thought what I would do was, in this particular video, I downloaded a backing track from Now You Shred, which is in F sharp minor, according to Mr. Now You Shred. And I thought I would just jam over that, just playing lead guitar. I mean, you could possibly say this is a guitar wankathon video. I don't know if you're allowed to say that on, on YouTube. You know, one of these videos where it's just some guy wailing away on a lead guitar for about seven minutes or something like that. But I thought it would be interesting to compare what they sound like. As I say, three very different price points. Do you hear any difference in the sound? That's what the video is all about. Can you differentiate which sounds better to you? So in this video as well, I thought I'd do something a bit different that I don't normally do. I mean, normally my videos are just me playing away and I don't explain what I'm doing. I mean, I have no formal musical training, but uh, I'll go through what I did in this one and why I did it. So that's today's video. A vintage V100 versus a Greco EGF 850 versus a Gibson 50 standard. Please do let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one did you prefer? That'd be great. As ever, folks, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Just for now. So the description said it's in F sharp minor. So first thing I do is I think, okay, chord tones. Let's look at the chord F sharp minor which is this. So it's F sharp, root note, C sharp, fifth, then the octave, F sharp, and then the third is an A. So it's root, fifth, third. So that's the notes I will try to be targeting this particular solo. So rather than playing it all down here, uh, the second position, I would target the F sharp note up here on the 11th fret of the G string. There, that's going to be the one that I'm kind. That's going to be my home base. Coming back to this, maybe hammering on from the E to that, then over to this A note, which is the third minor third. I'm going to be sticking around here quite a lot. Maybe bending this B up to a C sharp. So this is like an F sharp minor chord the way up here. So I'm going to be targeting all those notes basically. Now I also know that F sharp minor from what I read on the internet is connected to A major. So I'm going to be going up the A major scale as well. So I guess I'm doing things like this. Now I did a lot of the same things with each guitar because it's seven minutes long, you know, I couldn't, didn't have that many ideas. So I'm doing things like this. Then moving up into the A. So that's the two things I'm going for. I'm going for this F sharp here and this A here and also the C sharp. A 
hope that makes some sense. Thank you.